What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for Sana Sagittarius. This can resonate if you have Sagittarius in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. It's a free general oracle card for Sana Sag for mid-April of 2022. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. We're at 12,155 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Princess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. I truly love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you donate um, through my PayPal, it's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate if you do it through my PayPal. Just let everybody let everybody know. Um, I did get one channel message in as I was meditating on your mid-April of 2022's uh, reading. And the message is moving forward. And I heard it big. Moving forward. So one of you guys I'm feeling or somebody you're connected to is moving forward. And I feel it's a positive moving forward. Moving forward. I feel like charging energy. Moving forward. Just saying. That's beautiful. We have horse, short journey, bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Wow. Those are nice cards. Like I said, this can resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your chart. Um, one message may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Spirit messages you have for Sag. There's millions and billions of people in the world and tons of Sages. So, you know, you have to plug these messages into your own personal situation, how they resonate, if they do resonate. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. Spirit messages you have for Sag. Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Uh, scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. For some, you can be dealing with a um, water sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Hayward, Jupiter charts. If you are. Spirit messages you have sign of size. A significant memorial is about to become a very significant part of a Sagittarius's life. Memorial to a Sagittarius's son. Wow, that's beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates, Sag. I heard a significant memorial is about to become very significant to a Sag. Um, a Sagittarius' son. It sounds like this memorial is um, to to your son, Sag. Um, it could be you doing this uh, memorial to your son, or somebody else um, creating this memorial memorial to your son. But somehow, a memorial for your son um, is about to become very significant in your life, Sag. Um, whoever you are, and however this applies in your life, um, whoever this is for, whatever Sag is, this is for. I feel your son has passed over to the other side is what I'm feeling. Um, and either you're um, creating this memorial for your son or maybe several people or another person has um, created this memorial for your son. Or maybe they've raised funds for a memorial for your son or you have. How this resonates, but um, that's really beautiful energy. I do feel um, obviously memorial energy would be for somebody that's passed on to the other side. So I feel whatever side this is for, your son is passed over to the other side. So, um, but that's really beautiful energy, whoever, whatever side this resonates for. That's really beautiful. Number 24, 52, 2 or 20 could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly. 24, 52, 2 or 20, it could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date birth number, possible green card number, uh, possible jersey number, 24, 52, 2 or 20. And like I said, you could be dealing with a um, water sign or a fire sign, um, another fire sign like yourself, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Electric ill spirit, bring your ideas to life.
A particular Sagittarius is about to contact Time Magazine. A huge story that was not made public in the past. They're about to make it very, very public. It is about to make the wheel turn very, very, very fast. Know this. Wow, so you go with your bad self, Sag, if this resonates for you. Um, you're Sag, you could be masculine or feminine. I heard, whoever you are, I heard you're about to contact Time Magazine. You are. So you're about to contact Time Magazine, Sag, and um, I heard you're about to basically speak on a huge story of the past that was not brought public in the past, but it sounds like you want it brought very public, and I heard it's going to. Um, it sounds like once whoever you're about to contact person or people from Time Magazine, it sounds like they're going to get back to you in a timely fashion. And I heard it's going to, the wheel's going to start moving fast. So it sounds like it's going to come to fruition this time. It sounds like it didn't in the past, but you're going to help it come to fruition. Um, it's something huge, whatever it is. And it's something of the past, um, but you're about to help it come to fruition. Um, it's so big. You're about to contact Time Mag Magazine. I mean, people don't just contact Time Magazine for no reason. And that's just the truth. So kudos to you, um, Sag. Big power play moves here. So bring your ideas to life would be you bringing this story to the light to Time Magazine. And it sounds like person or people in Time Magazine is going to um, help you. It's gonna. It sounds like they're going to help you um, electrify it. It sounds like very publicly here. It is about to be huge, huge. You will get high honor for this. Okay, I heard it's about to be huge, huge, and you will get high honor for this, Sash. So whoever you are about to contact Time Magazine, um, it's, the story's huge. Um, and you're about to help it bring bring it more more hugely. I mean, so much so, it sounds like Time Magazine is going to be very interested in this story. Very, very interested, uh, interested in this story. And um, you will get high honor, I think, for revealing this story very publicly to Time Magazine. So electric shocking news or electric information to Time Magazine, because, you know, ill shock, um, electricity, um, physical electricity in this instance is metaphorical, um, you know, shocking, just saying. So much so it's going to be on Time Magazine, just saying. That's beautiful. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Scare of fetal spirit, magic works through you. A particular Sagittarius feminine's downloads are about to come in very, very, very quickly now. You have released baggage of the past, negativity of the past. It's about to really, they're about to really come through very heavy. Wow, Sag. You're a Sag fan, whoever this resonates with. Um, it sounds like you used to get downloads in the past, spiritual downloads in the past, but it sounds like they might have stopped or come to a near stop, however that resonates. Um, but it sounds like you used to get them in the past, um, but they're about to start coming. I heard fast and quickly. Um, you've released some kind of baggage and negativity of the past in some shape, form, or fashion. I think that's about, is about to prompt the spiritual realm to, Bring them to you hard and fast. Sounds like a lot of them. Um, so, and soon. Um, because it sounds like you've done the inner work. The healing and the shadow work. You've released some kind of baggage. Some kind of negativity in your life. And you've done the inner healing and shadow work. To bring them back to you. It sounds like you used to previously get them. Um, so, congrats to whoever uh, Sag Fem this is for. Um, however this resonates. That's really, really beautiful. Uh, so the magic works through you uh, in this instance is the spiritual realm, um, spiritual downloads is what I'm feeling here. Because um, that is very magical. It is very magical, um, but it's very real. And trust me, if anybody knows that, it's me. So um, that's really beautiful energy, Sag Fem, whoever you are. Let's see if I hear anything else. A particular Sagittarius feminine wants to be single so, so bad, and she's about to make it happen through many series of chain of events. 
about to shock the hell out of her family, her friend group, everybody. About to be herself, free and proud. She know it will be a battle, divorce energy, but she's about to make it happen. Holy crap. I was pulling into Sagittarius Feminine yesterday uh, that's about to find out some kind of it, this might be you or it might not be you, but um, there was a Sag Femme in my reading yesterday that she was coming in very strong, and um, she's about to find out some kind of evidence, proof and evidence of her holy husband, basically. It might be the same one. It might be a different one, but whoever you are in this one, you are married, legally married Sag Femme. You really, really, really badly want to be free. You want to be single as a Pringle is what I'm feeling. Single on the tax reform. Tax form single. Um, and um, it sounds like you're about to make it happen. Um, magic is about to work through you. Personal power is what I'm feeling. Personal power energy here. And you're about to make it happen. I heard you're about to shock, shock, electric ill energy. You're about to shock the hell out of everybody. Metaphorically shock the hell out of everybody. Um, friends, family, and everybody I heard. Um, and I heard, you know, it's going to be a battle in the divorce realm. So it feels like it's going to be a contested divorce and not a non-contested divorce. And trust me, I've been there. I wanted a non-contested divorce in my divorce uh, when I did get divorced many years ago, but it was a contested. So it feels like it's going to be a contested divorce for you too, but I heard you know it's worth it in the end. Um, so you, you're highly intuitive, whoever you are, and you really, really want this. So um, you're about to make it happen. Whoever you are, Sag Finn, you could have Sag in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Femme, and Hamid, Jupiter, charts. But in this situation, the magic working through you is your own personal power. Um, to make this happen, a coupled with the ill energy, um, shocking the hell out of everybody in your life, about to make it happen, is what I'm feeling. Horse, short journey. A child is about to move closer to a Sagittarius, an adult child. It's about to make them happy. Grandchild energy. Okay. Um, so you're a Sag adult and you have an adult child. It sounds like the, your adult child has a child. So you're a grandchild. Um, I heard your adult child is about to move closer to you. So um, it's about to make you happy grandchild energy so i think you're about to be it's about to be a short journey for you to travel to see your grandchild or grandchildren um because your adult child is about to move closer to you um your adult child does not live with you or adult children does not live with you the one that has the child is what i'm feeling um but it's i feel it's going to be a short journey for you to travel to see your grandchild um which is going to make you happy so you plug it in, how it resonates, um, how this resonates for you, Sag, adult Sag. A water sign feminine that has been blackmailing a, a Sagittarius masculine boss sex services is about to raise their prices in a huge way. This Sagittarius masculine boss is about to transmute the energy around on this water sign fem energy. Through many series of chain of events, she will be fired. Oh my gosh whoa so you plug it in how it resonates oh lord okay um i wasn't expecting that one but you plug it in how it resonates okay so um and that could be the water sign energy you're dealing with here maybe for one of you sages sage masculine boss um just saying just saying uh you're gonna shock the hell out of them. you're about to transmute the energy i heard your mini series chamber she will be fired um i think you're about to say something that's what i think her, she's been blackmailing you for prostitution services. So you have been paying her, it sounds like, for prostitution services. Um, you are a boss, it sounds like, of her, um, is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you're a boss of her. 
Um, but like in the workspace, you're a boss of her. But she really has the power in this because she knows one, she's been making money off of you. <laughs> she's been, I mean, she has this whole thing under control, man. But you're about to turn it on her. Wow, this is something. Okay. So you are a boss of her in the 3D workspace, Sag Master. Did this resonate for you? And you have a water sign employee, femme employee underneath you, but she's been blackmailing you. This I feel this is her. She's been blackmailing you um, for uh, for prostitution services. So you've been getting sex services from her. But her, she's about to raise the price in a huge way. But you're about to turn it around and transmute the energy on her. And through many series of chain events, I heard she will be fired. So I think, however, you're about to do this. But I think, here's my deductive logic reason on this. Because you're both in the wrong here. She knows, she's been blackmailing you. She knows she's had this shit in the bag because you're her boss. And she can go live on it any time. She could probably, and since you're masculine, she's a femme, she could probably claim discrimination against you. Sexual harassment. Just saying, just saying. Well, she couldn't claim sexual harassment because you're both having sex together. But she could claim maybe discrimination, possibly. But she knows she has it in the bag because, one, you want the sex services. And, two, um, she's paying you. I mean, you're paying her for them. Um, but you're about to turn it on her. So I think, I heard she's about to raise the price in a huge way. So, I mean, she's about to raise the roof on the prices, which I'm sure is going to piss you off. I think you're going to stop paying for the sex services. And I think you're going to go report it to somebody in your company that she's been blackmailing you. That's exactly what I think. I mean, I could be wrong on this. Only you know your story not anybody else. But I think that's how you're about to do it. And I think once you report this and like the official, maybe you're going to report it in a compliance line. Maybe you're going to report it to human resources. But whoever you're about to report it to, it's about to create many series of time events. She's going to be fired. So, but I think you're about to, the first step you're about to do is about to turn off the sex services. You're about to stop them, which is going to piss her off. Shocking to her. But it's about to create negative series of shame events for her. She's about to be fired. But in all fairness, I mean, this is a toxic situation, a very toxic situation. It sounds like it should have been stopped a long time ago. So it sounds like you're about to create a series of shame events to make it stop. Um, because she she knows she's had it in the bag for a long ass time. She knows she has. You're the, yeah, you're the boss of her um, in the 3D, but really she's been the boss of you. Somebody's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. Heard someone's getting a huge wake up call. Huge. I am serious as a heart attack about this. I, she has. She's been the wearing the pants in this shit. You can be her boss all day long, but she's been the big boss here. She has been the controller. The moving I she has been the controller. I don't care what title you have in this work situation, Sag masculine. She has been wearing the pants here. And she's about to wear more when she raises the price in a huge way, I heard. But you're about to put a stop to it and transmute the energy. Now, however you transmute it, I told you how I thought you were going to transmute it, but really only you know your story on anybody else. But I think the short journey here is you about to cut off the sex services. She's about to raise the prices in a huge way. You're about to cut off the sex services. And um, the short journey also could be a phone call. Uh, she's about to get a phone call that she's about to be terminated over this shit. Uh, possibly two, a short journey out the door. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. Whew. That is a strong one. But you are a Sag masculine boss. You're about to put an end to this shit. You are about to be... You're about to be the real boss you're supposed to be here. Um, but you have a water sign femme uh, employee. She really has been the boss, boss, though. I don't care what job title she has. But you're about to put her in her place. And I'm serious about that. I am serious as a heart attack. Wow. I'm not a physical heart attack. A uh, metaphorical there. But I'm serious. Woo. Physical therapy services are significant in one particular Sagittarius's life. Okay, I heard physical therapy services are significant in one particular Sag's life. So you can be masculine or femme. I think the short journey is um, maybe um, you don't need 
a ton of physical therapy services, or maybe it's um, short-term rehab for these physical therapy services. Um, however this resonates is what I'm feeling with the card. Uh, but physical therapy services are um, significant in one Sage's life. I'm feeling it's, um, yeah, I feel it's like um, short-term rehab um, is what I'm feeling. Period of prosperity and abundance. A Sagittarius is about to make huge changes in their life. Huge. A very codependent, drug-addicted family member. You're about to cut this person off. Your money is about to go, off, go up in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is dealing with a very drug-addicted, codependent family member. I'll tell you that. Um, whoever you are and how this applies in your life, Sag, um, it sounds like you've been given the money. It sounds like you've been given the money and probably a lot of it in the past. For some, it could be two plus drug addicted, codependent um, family members, how this resonates. But um, it, it sounds like you're about, one of the huge changes you're about to make in your life is you're about to cut off their money train. Um, and um, it's about to make your money go up because you're about to save money, keep the money that you were giving to the drug, drug addicted, codependent um, family member or family members and be able to put it into your retirement savings account, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or for you for self-care um, besides giving it to a drug, addic drug addicted, codependent family member or family members. So um, kudos to whoever that's for. One particular Sagittarius is about to cut out strippers. About to save a ton of money. Wow. Somebody's about to make huge changes in their life. And I'm serious about that. Like huge changes. Um, one of you guys is about to cut out strippers, I heard. And you're about to um, save a, a ton of money too. So sa this is saving money in this aspect. It's not like um, a new side hustle, side gig or a new income stream I'm feeling. I'm feeling it's just saving money here because you're about to make huge changes in your life. Um, how that resonates. And with the short journey, I don't think it's going to be um, a long time for you to bank up this money because I feel whoever you are, you were probably the one that was giving a lot um, the money to the stripper or strippers or strip club. I feel it was a lot of money. So you're about to short journey to saving up your money. And the one that was um, given the money to the drug addicted, um, codependent family member, family members, I feel it was a lot of money. So you're about to bank it up in your own bank account and short journey to save up your money. That's what I feel here. For some, it could be the stripper or strippers or um, or the family member or family members. It could be a water sign or a fire sign, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Strength. A particular Sagittarius masculine is about to write an apology letter to a feminine energy of their, of their past. They feel very, very, very guided to do so. They're about to do it. Mailed letter. Very regretful of the past. Wow, this is beautiful. I feel healing vibes in here. Um, I didn't get the healing card, but I feel healing vibes. So you're a Sag masculine and it's a feminine energy of your past. So she's not currently in your life right now. Uh, she used to be in some shape, some shape, form, or fashion, whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug her in how she resonates. But it's not a person currently in your life or your energetic space now. Um, it is someone of your past. 
whoever this person is, but um, I heard you're very regretful of the past. Um, so something happened in the past negatively between you and this feminine energy in some shape form or fashion. Um, but I heard you're so regretful. You're about to write a letter to this um, feminine energy. I heard a, um, a letter letter. So I feel like a snail mail letter. Um, and I feel you're going to mail it to her. Um, how this applies in your life. Um, hopefully it will promote healing here. Many shocking series of chain of events will occur after this feminine energy receives this letter. Know, th know this. Okay, I heard many shocking series of chain of events will occur after this feminine energy receives this letter. Know this. So it sounds like she's going to respond back to you or she's going to do something um, something in response to the letter. Um, how that resonates. Um how that resonates, but it's good that you're about to reach out to her. It sounds like uh, hers. You're going to apologize. So you're going to apologize about something in some shape, form or fashion. Maybe you're going to explain yourself, apologize or put something in the letter. Um, that's going to create the series of chain of events for her to respond back to you or for her to create series of chain of events from the response of the letter. Um, but I think you're about to have lots of strength here to write this letter is what I'm feeling. Um, it could be a handwritten letter or it could be a typed up letter and you're going to mail it. Um, mail it a typed up letter or a handwritten letter you're going to mail. But I feel it's a mail letter, like in the United States post office. Well, it don't have to be United States, but in a postal way is what I'm saying. Don't have to be United States. Um, it can be any, any area. A Sagittarius feminine is about to get lots of fan mail. It is about to make her very emotional in a positive way. She's about to make a very, after she receives all this fan mail, she's going to make a very public video expressing her gratitude. Wow, this is beautiful, Sag. Sag fam, you're in the public eye in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever you are, Sag fam. But you're about to receive a ton of fan mail. Um, so you have a lot of followers, um, a lot of uh, people. You're you're in the public eye in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel very in the public eye. So you could be a reader, or you could be a celebrity, or you could be some something. You're something that's in the public eye in some shape, form, or fashion. Whether you're a celebrity, whether you're a reader, you're some somehow you're in the public eye in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you're very highly thought of in a positive way, in a very celebratory way. Um, you're about to receive a lot of fan mail, whether you're a celebrity or a reader or what have you. Uh, but you have a big reach, I'll tell you that. Um, and you're about to um, receive a lot of fan mail. Hurt's going to touch you in a positive way, and you're going to make a very public video um, displaying your gratitude. So I don't know if this is a very public video like on TV. If you're a high level celebrity or a video with your reader or some kind of video energy, whether it's like I said, tell like actual television or a public platform, how that resonates, but you're about to have lots of strength and gratitude to make this video, uh, but in a positive, positive way. Renewal. Reconcilia reconciliation energy for one Sagittarius. Really wants to reconcile. Some through a letter. Some through series of chain of events. Okay, I heard reconciliation energy for um, some, of you, some of you guys really want to reconcile with somebody from your past. I know whoever this person is and how it resonates. Some, one of you guys, at least one of you guys, really wants to reconcile with somebody from your past, whoever this is. Um, some of you guys, it sounds like it's, we've got letter energy strong in here. And I feel actually through the mail, um, letter energy, I feel through the mail. For some, it could be email or text, but I'm feeling actually through the mail. For some, through many series of chain events. It could be through that Time Magazine thing, possibly for some of you guys. Um, cause one of you guys is about to, um, contact time, time magazine. So you plug it in, how it resonates, but renewal is the reconciliation energy, at least from one person in your past. For some, it could be two plus people. Um, but 
it sounds like positive reconciliation energy here. You really want to reconcile with them. Um, whether it's an apology or just something you want to say or what have you. Um, but however that resonates, I guess I should say. A Sagittarius is about to reveal very important information to the authority soon that's about to lead several people in jail. You are about to be a hero. Know this. Oh my goodness. Wow. A Sagittarius is about to um, give information to the authorities, I heard. Um, that's about uh, very important information, I heard. That's about to lead several people to jail soon. Uh, know this. So if you didn't know your information is very important, if you were thinking about reaching out to the authorities on person, people, place, situation, etc. Sag, apparently it is. And it's going to lead several, several people to jail if that resonates to you, for you. I didn't hear specifically what the situation is. It could um, it could involve a family room because I was shuffling and I got this on the bottom of the deck. It could involve a family or, um, or something that happened in a house or a family room possibly. Um, of uh, the past it's something of the past is some kind of information you're about to reveal to the authorities um maybe you didn't think it was uh um valuable or what have you but i heard it is and you're about i mean your information is about to lead several people to jail so you plug it in how it resonates wow i'll get one kipper and then i'll close it spirit messages you have for the contact Main male community. Mature man reverse. We've got mature man reverse, main male community. Number five, one, thirty-nine could be very significant numbers in one's life. Five, one, or thirty-nine. It could be possible ages of children or yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 5, 1, or 39. Number 36 and 38 are very significant numbers in a particular Sagittarius's life, too. Fraud energy. Okay, I heard number 36 and 38 are very significant numbers in a particular Sagittarius's life, too. Fraud energy. So maybe um, there's a fraud that's 36 or 38. Um, 36 and 38 are very significant to at least one of you guys. I think they're ages of either, of, uh, there's two people here. I think there's a 36 year old and a 38 year old, but I think one of them's a fraud. Um, cause I heard there's two people significant, 36 and 38. So I think they're 36 years old or 38 years, uh, one's 36 and one thirty eight is what I'm thinking. One th is 36 and one thirty eight, and one is a fraud, but one of them is. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one's 36 years old and one is 38 years old and one is a fraud. But only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug 36 year old and 38 year old in the in your life how they resonate and figure out um and determine who the fraud is, I guess. Um you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Mature man, uh, immature man, main male community. Let me see if I hear anything. A community is about to really, really help lock up a very immature masculine energy. Fraudulent marriage energy. He will go to prison and for a long time for this and other people will go to know this. Summits an online community. Summits a physical community. Some it's a workplace community. Holy moly. So you plug it in. How it resonates. Okay. So there's an immature masculine energy that puts somebody in a false marriage. Um, I think it's this person right here. I think both of these is this one person and one. According to spiritual downloads. Because we have immature man and main male. So um, I think he is the main immature masculine energy that put either you in a false marriage or somebody you know in a false marriage. However, this resonates, Sag. Uh, but I think you know about it. 
I, I think you know about it. I don't think it's you they put in a false marriage. I think it's somebody you know they put in a false marriage. And I'm serious about that. Because you know they put somebody in a false marriage. I'm thinking for some. For some, it could be you they put in a false marriage. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I think these two cards is one person is what I'm saying. He's immature and he's a main male, but he is in a false marriage. I think for money reasons. The only reason you would be in a false marriage is for money reasons. And I'm pretty sure the other person, whether it's you or another person in this false marriage, they don't even know they're in a false marriage because they never agreed to and consent to be in the false marriage. Um, but a physical community knows this person has this immature masculine energy has placed either you or somebody you're connected to in a false marriage. An online community knows this. Um, an online community, a workplace community, and a um, physical community. And I heard these communities, the workplace community, the physical community, and the online community is about to help put this immature masculine energy behind bars for um, placing either you in a false marriage or somebody you're connected to in a false marriage. Um, how this resonates, Sagittarius. I think somebody's about to be a hero here. I think one of you guys is about to be a hero, and I'm serious about that. Who this resonates for. Um, and however this applies in your life. But he should have never done what he did because um, you can't do that. That's that's way against the law. Way against the law. Way against the law. And I'm serious about that. It just way is. Um, way against the law. Um, I heard he will be, he will go to prison for a long time and other people will too. So I think you guys are about to create a series of chain of events. I think at least one side is and an online community, um, and a, um, physical community and a workplace community is about to, I think they're about to report this asshole. I think they're about to report this asshole. I don't know if they're about to report him to a human resources department, a compliance department, um, the feds, local police, um, reporting portal. I'm not sure, but we have three different communities in here um, on his ass. And they're about, they're, they don't like it and they're about to do something about it. And they really should. We've got an online community or communities um, that, um, that really could be anything, but it's some kind of online community. A workplace community, so I'm feeling a physical 3D workplace community and a um, uh, physical community, like a 3D location community. Um, so I think it's people from each of these communities about to display information. Like I said, I don't know if it's to a compliance um, hotline or a human resources um, department or because we're, we're talking about workplace online and um 3d so i'm trying to give all the examples i'm thinking feeling compliance hotline i'm feeling um human resources department i'm feeling fed energy whether it's dea cia uh, fed, uh marshals um fbi etc um local police i mean that's serious that is serious 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 somebody could report him to the irs um however that resonates but somebody, I, one of you guys does not agree with this and you shouldn't agree with this. This is, this is not right in the head. It's just not. Because whoever did this and put this person in a false marriage, whether it was you or somebody you care about or connected to, they only did it for money. Obviously, the other person doesn't even know they're in the damn marriage. And that's just the truth. So kudos to you and your community. I feel for some, your influencers. Your influencers are, and I can't speak, sorry. Your influencers, and you're about to help um, whoever he put in a false marriage out of the false marriage uh, with information is what I'm feeling. So kudos to you being a positive influence in either your online community, your physical 3D community, or your workplace community. However, that resonates and applies in your life, Sagittarius. Um, this was a really good reading. It really was. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. I hope this helped and namaste.